Uh, good to see you here, Liam. Nice to be here. Yeah, and we're straight off the heels of Game of Thrones Season 4. Correct. Uh, just finished up and you guys have just gone to the wall. We've got mm -hmm. some stuff over here with that. Um, some we've stuff. got Jon Snow there, yeah. And yeah. the unfortunate Greet, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, how do you feel about the show changing sort of where you are? And so sort of now you're getting to meet different characters and not be sort of all set off on your own little show there. Well, I suppose the interesting thing with the, with the Team Stannis mm -hmm. is the fact that uh, for about a season and a half we've been disempowered after the Battle of Blackwater and stuff, and now there's a bit of a game changer. We've got a bit of power, we've just won a battle. Uh, wow. I think uh, Stannis' mojo is back, yeah. and it'll be, inter it'll be very interesting to see what's going to happen next. It was a big Stannis season, really. He really came back. Do you think, like, partly that was your character and Melisandre were not working against each other as much this season? Well, I, well, here's the weird thing: we're not working against each other. We're both chasing the same thing mm -hmm. uh, for Stannis. It's just that we have two completely different methods of trying to do it. Uh, and I suppose one could say I've won this battle uh, yeah. by getting the money from Bravos and. and uh, and um, financing, uh, you know, a, 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 an army. Mm. Uh, so in that sense, we've had a bit of success. But as she said after after Blackwater, she blamed me for uh, bringing the whole thing down. Yeah. So uh, so uh, one up, one up to, to Davos on this one. And what was that scene in Bravos like doing? That's like in some ways your big scene of the series. I felt. Yeah. No, it was really cool, and especially working with Mark Gatiss, who um, who had worked with, worked with before. I, I uh, he was in the League of Gentlemen. Mm. Uh, which is the movie I was in very briefly, and also he was um, he wrote an episode of Doctor Who that <laughs> yeah. I was uh, that I was in. Uh, so I've known him, and I've had a huge amount of respect for him. He's an incredibly talented writer. He's a fantastic actor. Um, his character's a nighty night. He's he's just uh, he's he's out there. He's he's brilliant. He's very clever. So that yeah, I would agree. That was seen as was a remarkable scene to shoot. And, uh, it was it was the first time we saw Bravos as well. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of cool. Yeah. There's a real learning curve to being on the Game of Thrones for the characters in it. What do you think your characters learnt the most and has been sort of the most interesting thing for you as an actor to have to adapt to? Well, uh, I suppose that well, the fact that Dallas is from very, very uh, low beginnings, you know, mm. he's from the worst slum in King's Landing, but, but the interesting thing, I suppose, about him is that he's got a... Um, he has a nobility about him that, that the people in uh, the Lannisters and the Highborns and, and the people who are supposed to be educated and rich do not have because they're, a lot of them are low lifers. Um, so, I mean, along the way, just, just keeping his ass out of trouble um, and at the same time being honourable and being decent and, and, and still having a hatred for injustice. So, uh, you know, learning. Um, I think it's for other people. I think he's a, he's in a strange way a sort of a teacher about being about being decent and about about ruling properly over your subject. Yeah. Do you think we're going to see Stannis on the throne at some point? Well, that's what we're working towards, yeah. and it's up to Mr. Martin yeah. and the boys to mm. uh, to steer us in that direction. Yeah. If it happens, it happens. Who knows? Mm. Is it a challenge uh, acting with shorter fingers on the show? I yeah. guess other. Yes. Other, act other people on the show have lost more, I guess. Though. Yes, they have. Yeah, I think Jamie has lost a bit more than yeah. me. But uh, mm. yeah, I've had no fingers from the get go. Yeah, yeah it can be a bit awkward. Yeah, mm. we've a, a few different ways of doing it. As you know, as, as one can say, of you know, prosthetics and little finger gloves and, and, a, and a glove that I spend a lot of time doing this with. And, uh, yeah, it's quite, it's one of those things. You know, it's what it's an acting thing. And we're an awards website. We follow the Emmys. Our nominations come out just in got over a week's time uh, for Game of Thrones. What's it like being part of a show that just gets so many awards? Season 2, you won 6, which was your first year on the show for yeah. all the special effects and technical things. Peter Dinklage has won. Yeah. What's it like to be part of a show that just gets so much uh, respect well, from the industry? Well, I, you know, I suppose, it's a, in a sense, it's a validation from, from the industry for, uh, for the hard work that's been put in, you know. But, I mean, that's primarily, that's not what you, what you do it for, you know. You, mm -hmm. You know, I've always been of the opinion that if you build it, they will come. And, and you know, HBO are brilliant at, at, at kind of selling the show, but they're, they're not going to be able to sell something that isn't worth seeing. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think about Game of Thrones, you know, as you, as you can see, is, is a beautiful story that's beautifully told. Yeah, that's great. And uh, finally, you're in Sydney. Mm -hmm. um, what's like the international reaction like? This is really a show that's a global phenomenon. Yeah, what's it extraordinary. like to sort of be overseas and meeting fans? It's, it's amazing. I mean, I've been a few, a few places even with the exhibition. I was in Sao Paulo and Amsterdam and, you know, uh, uh, New York, places like that. And it's, it, uh, um, it, it's, it's uh, extraordinary to see the reaction. It really is. Uh, and there's no one specific type of fan. There's, you know, they seem to go from, from, from young to quite old. 
Um, and it's glorious to see that people are, 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 as I say, enjoying the story we're rolling out. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Liam, for spending time with us. All the best with Game of Thrones, all the best with the Emmys, and all the best with Team Stannis. Thank you very much. Yeah, have a good one. Cheers. Yeah.